guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to episode 5 of Fruits Basket, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Which means... Oh, I Mm. <laughs> oh god this is the one episode i'm not ready for one no one out of like two or three episodes like i think mostly of uh, like so many people who have watched this series you probably know what episode i'm talking about for example the series that episode are those two episodes and then there's one other which is the hot Taharu episode because that is coming soon but this episode really is like the number one that i'm not personally ready for it's just the things that go on in this episode and i'm hoping that they do it like to justify it and my baby Ataru. <laughs> he's coming But this is like the most emotional episode for Toru as of now. Because there will be others. But you know, we can't get into it yet. But we will. We will. By like fall. Mm -hmm. Mm Just in case you want to see her. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at Yuki. Yuki don't want her to go. Joe don't want her to go. But no one's saying anything. Mm. Exactly. But you want her to stay, don't you? Mm -hmm. 
race ball. But it was never called. Never called. Oh my god, she acknowledges me! Yes, baby! Oh my god, I'm so proud! Oh, my little airhead. I give y'all three days. Not even three days. I give you an hour. You're not going to make it without her. I'm not gonna cry. Mm -mm. <laughs> Go get her. You know you miss her. You're a family. Even though she's not a part of your family, you're a family. And she belongs with you guys. So go cuss her family out, because I don't like her family. It's, oh my god. So you automatically assume that Tori was going to do something like her mom. No! No. And that's what you get. See, right then and there, like, before the slap, like, once the sun said something to her, I immediately would have smiled, walked my ass up to that room, got my shit, and I would have been like, deuces, bitch. But, like, it don't give a fuck if we're family. Thank you.
But you know you don't want to be here. Then go. You don't have to stay with them. What you do? I just, I need them to just come in and be like, yes, we with you. Because <laughs> it's coming. Hmm. But you don't want to be here. You know you don't. I'm not crying, you're crying. Yo, oh my God. Guys. <sighs> <laughs> Bullshit. You know what you're looking for. Yuki has it. Mm 
-hmm. Let's just go right in. Good job, boys. Open the door. <laughs> yeah. mm -mm. Why don't you go in and find out? <laughs> That's what she wants. Yeah. <laughs> oh, because you miss it. As your mom said. Hi, mm -hmm. Yuki. Mm -hmm. Right, Spa. Mm -hmm. 
No, no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> God, I remember at first, like, disliking just the whole, like, part where we finally get to see her family, including her grandfather again, and how mean her aunt and her cousins are. I literally hated them so freaking much. Like, even now, I still hate them. They are my least favorite characters in this freaking series, but, like, oh, God, when she started crying and talking about missing home and it showed them together and then freaking Yuki seeing Yuki, oh, my husband. Oh, God, I love him so damn much. No, I just I still got away from my other baby, my Hataharu. And Hataharu is coming. He's just not here yet, but he's coming. Oh, God. Mm mm. It just, like, it brought back so many feels of how I just literally hated her freaking family. And there are families like that who want to do private investigations on them. Because, I mean, imagine if she was still living in that tent. And then she finally hears that, oh, hey, it's time for her to come back home. And her aunt says, oh, so you've been living in a tent for this, like, long. And then her cousin, both her cousins laugh at her. The aunt laughs at her and stuff. Like, ugh. I'm just happy. My baby is finally home. Her true home. With them. That's all that freaking matters. Like, mm. oh, I know what episode. This is the next episode is the Hana and Uo episode where they go over their house for the first time. <laughs> oh my god. But see, I still hate the fact. That so I think they are gonna do it like I think how they're gonna do it. Okay. It but it is weird, like they have Momiji come in like episode three and it's now episode five and it's been a little while since we've seen Momiji, so I'm guessing what they're going to do because like Hatsaharu came in in I believe episode ten. I'm not one hundred percent sure. I would have to go and look exactly where he came out and then the same episode because like him and momiji like come like, come like into the show kind of around the same time so of course momiji is going to like be hiding in the shadows until it's time for momiji to come out and be like hey here i am again because it is gonna be um the festival so and i mean like they're getting like towards that so it has to be, if it's not episode 5, because episode 5 is perhaps we should invite ourselves over, which Hana and Uo come over, then it should be either 6 to 10, because he's gotta be there at least before Hataharu comes in. The Hataharu episode is the, um, the, run, the run that they did? 
um, after, uh, the Christmassy episode, which, the, uh, yeah, cause, like, um, the biggest thing is, like, <laughs> at first I thought they were going to, like, go, like, draw it out until, like, Christmas, but I don't think they're gonna do that. I think they're gonna probably do the Christmas episode in the next few weeks, and then, you know, everybody else is gonna come. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 5 of 2019's Fruits Basket. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 6. Bye, guys.